Hello, I have a new video coming out on my channel soon, which is more involved, but I just quickly wanted to comment on something because I think it's important. So the new conservatives that we see around today on the internet are always presented as young and cool and hip and trendy and with it. But Stephen Crowder has just shown with his latest video that when it comes to conservatives, meet the new boss, it's the same as the old boss. They try to dress it up, and they try to act like they care about all of these different things, but when it comes to it, the new conservatism is the same as the old conservatism. It's just hatred for anybody who's not exactly like you. It's a disrespect for them and just thinking that their lives don't matter as much. And that arrogance has been the cause of so much conflict in the world for so long, and it's simply just continuing just with a fresh face. What am I talking about? Well, Steven Crowder just released a video about AIDS. And the thing that really stood out about this video was the fact that there's no other way to put it, he does not value the lives of gay people. He just thinks that their lives are worth less. He thinks if homosexuals die, it doesn't count as much as if a straight person dies. Now you could accuse me of straw manning or I'm just making up a position here. But seriously. Statistically, the CDC puts a heterosexual American's chance of contracting AIDS at 0%. With 92% of all cases stemming directly from male to male sexual contact, and the majority of the remainder coming from intravenous drug use, but clawing at the hundreds of millions of dollars in government grants, fear mongering ran rampant. But hindsight is 2020. In the moment, everyone believed this silent non killer AIDS to truly be an epidemic even though the chances of contracting it short of anal sex with gay strangers while shooting heroin was statistically non-existent. Matter of fact, the chances of a straight person contracting HIV in the modern world is 4 in 10,000 per exposure. Yes, the AIDS epidemic hoax is one of the greatest ever perpetrated in the American public, and one that inadvertently cost millions of lives of actual victims. This is not about being charitable or not. There's literally no way to read that except, oh, so you thought HIV, AIDS, was a dangerous thing? Well, don't worry, because it doesn't affect straight people that much. He's basically saying, it only kills gay people. And gay people, <laughs> they do that disgusting same genital thing, which is yuck. And so if they die, who the fuck cares? Nobody. So you see, AIDS wasn't that big a deal. People always complain about people saying transphobia, homophobia, racism, sexism, etc. But there's no other word to describe this except he values, he literally values the lives of gay people less than other human beings. And it's just the way he's wired. Also in the video he talks about how there's too much funding going to HIV AIDS versus real killers like cancer and diabetes, and there's a far greater prevalence of diabetes and cancer than AIDS. But the thing that he never points out in the video is that AIDS is a death sentence, whereas there's different kinds of cancer, there's less deadly kinds and there's more deadly kinds, and diabetes kills way more people than AIDS because way more people have it, but it's nowhere near as deadly as AIDS, which is basically 100% deadly and if you have AIDS you're going to die. And I think the reason that so much funding went into AIDS is because humanity got spooked by a disease which was so amazingly deadly. Like, if you have AIDS, you're fucking dead. So they put a lot of funding into getting rid of it. And I think the statistics show that they've made a lot of very good progress, so it's good that they put that funding into it. Does that mean that they should fund diabetes and cancer less? No, there should be more funding for everything. But it makes sense why there was more funding for AIDS, because it's significantly more deadly than everything except the more deadly kinds of cancer. But according to the logic of this video, it doesn't matter how deadly it is, because it only kills gay people. Now I understand what people normally say. They say, I can't be racist, I'm friends with a Jewish person. I can't be sexist, my best friend is a woman. I can't be homophobic, my best friend is gay. And that is just the stereotypical defense. And to that I would just say, I feel bad for your friends, because you think these disgusting things about them at the back of your mind or under your breath you think something negative about your friend just because of who they are and you like them despite that if you think the jews are behind some conspiracy to destroy the world but your best friend's jewish 
you're still anti-Semitic. You just like that person despite the fact they're Jewish. And for all I know, Steven Crowder has lots of gay friends. But I feel bad for them that they've got such a shit friend who thinks that if they were dying of one of the most horrific diseases known to man, one of the deadliest, that that wouldn't really count in his mind because only things that are dangerous to straight people matter to him. And I think this is why the new conservatism is not what it's cracked up to be. It's the same old hatred for people who are not like oneself, dressed up in a new package, but it's the same old shit.